No niin, tultiin pörrän Nvidian pisteelle. Tällä kertaa meiltä ei löydy minkäännäköisiä pelinäytön ohjaimia, mitään GTX sitä sun tätä, vaan keskitytään noihin ammattikäytön näyttiksiin ja kysellään vähän, että mitä se oikein tarkoittaa ja miten se oikein ero. Basically what we see here it's graphics cards. Uh, so what's the difference between uh, professional graphics cards and uh, gaming graphics cards? So the main difference is uh, they are approaching a whole different market. So it's for customers who are working with professional applications. Could be for manufacturing, design, engineering, but also for media creation like video editing or, or video rendering. And um, there are two sides. So you have on, on the hardware side, you have some differences uh, regarding features that are supported in hardware, like uh, for the video rendering, video encoding, you have special features on the GPU, but also one example for drawing video lines in professional CAD applications, you have special features on the card. Also on the other side, uh, they just have a much better support on the software side. So what we do is uh, we certify the graphics cards for about 200 different kind of applications so that the user who has a card like that and is working with an application like AutoCAD, Inventor, SolidWorks or Adobe Premiere or After Effects, he just knows if you put in the card it's working fine, no problems, no crashes. That's the main idea behind these kind of products. Why do you need the graphics card in server? Oh, so it depends a little bit what you want to do. So on the server side we have two different solutions in the moment. So one is uh, that you want to do computing, so you're not using the graphics card as a graphics card anymore, so it does not create any kind of graphics, it just is doing number crunching or computing. It's just calculating 2 plus 2 uh, will be 4, just in a higher way, and that's used for simulations or um, calculations, could be things like weather forecast, but also things like video rendering or 3D rendering. Thank you very much.